right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look. Let's turn off transparency here and take a look at what we've got so far. Very cool. Just a couple more parts to complete, and then we'll be ready to come in here and start sculpting. So we'll take an opportunity now to create the trigger mechanism. Pen the shadow box back in. Make sure that it is selected and transparency is turned on. Come down here to the texture map menu. Turn on the gun reference. And this time we'll zoom in. And we want to create this little piece right here. Use the masking pen. quickly trace in this shape. Go to the mask lasso. And I'll try and get that curve in there. and we'll go to the circle turn on square turn on center and let's unmask a circle right there now let's go to the front view and we definitely want the trigger to be the narrowest part of the gun so we'll go to the mask rectangle and we'll drag our trigger mech mask to be about that. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out of Shutterbox. And there we have our trigger mechanism. And we can clean up the edges of that just using the clip curve. I'm going to click skip this note because I don't really need to be reminded of that every time. And we'll just drag this clip curve straight down. Oops, make sure X symmetry is turned on. And here we go. And we can clean up that circle by going to the Clip Circle Brush. There we go. And we'll go back to the Clip Curve. And let's try and get this nice curve right here. And let's turn off the transparency. And there we go. Much better. Alright, now we'll go ahead and save our work. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sighting mechanism now. It'll be at the front of the gun, at the front of the barrel. It's a little piece that goes right here going to append a shadow box back in. Go down to the texture map. Make sure that we've got the gun reference. Make sure the shadow box is selected. There we go. Now there's a couple different pieces we might be able to get them both into one piece. Let's just take a quick look here and see. So we've got this trapezoid shape to begin with, and I'll start out by creating that using the masking brush. Actually, I'll start out just using the masking marquee for that.
this first piece is going to be the widest. I'm going to bring that to about there. Now the next piece is going to be far narrower, so I'm going to step this down to about here. So everything that I build up along the top is going to be narrower as I build up, because there's this little branch piece right here that comes up to the site itself. So I just want to make sure that that is narrower than the base. And we'll use the mask pen for this part. There we go. Build this piece all the way up to the front. Now from the front view, I want the top portion to actually be a sight, a gun sight. I need to widen it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll draw another marquee here. Oops. Undo that. Now we'll draw a mask marquee. Hold down the Alt button. And that'll make our little hole there in the mask site. And the sighting mechanism. zoom in here, you'll be able to see the shape that I've made. And from the side view. Okay, go ahead and click Shadow Box to exit out. And then that will give us our sighting mechanism on the front. Okay, let's go ahead and save our work.